am the ripper. I am the ripper of Monster Balaji. Everybody in England calls you the evil man. The villain, Jack. Everybody in England calls you the villain. You're not the villain. The villain is the one who does all the evil things in the world. And he drives the story. And he lets grow the hero. But I don't do any evil things. I'm not the villain. Let me wash my hands. She's such a pretiful sight. She didn't. She didn't struggle. She didn't even fight him. But, wait a minute. She screamed a lot. Hmm, they don't care. The people might think that it is one of a nightly cause. Yes. I kill women. I kill them. I kill those who ruin our beautiful streets of London. I used to go around in the streets of London during the night with my cloak and knife by my side. Yes. I kill those women. Actually, people are very curious to know how I kill those women. But to be frank, they should be ashamed to call themselves as women. They sell themselves on street corners. Yes, with dressed in a less modest outfit. Also begging for a shilling or two in me. Just asking for pleasure. Yes, such, such a worthless creature. Worthless. Hate me. If they are alive, if they let them alive, it will lead to the downfall of the entire British nation. I will not let that happen. It is my responsibility to clear the crap in England. My responsibility. Yes, I have taken it up. I am an artist, you know. I am an artist. I am the one who lures the words into alumnus, who murmurs Sweet voices into their ears, slipping my hands into their filthy neck, and then wringing their cries and shrieks from their lungs. Then silence. I would then slit their throat into two easy cuts. I could see the blood pouring down from their throat to the ground below them, pulling up. Yes, the blood. Pulling up. My hands will always shiver. Everybody. While they were still alive, I used to stab their abdomen. I used to stab it. And I used to continue it. Continue to slit their worthless body. Which will be a warning to all the filthy little sluts in the corners of the street. They will be again asking me for a shilling. And will be asking for pleasure. That will be the end of everyone. That will be a warning for everyone. And that is how People. That is how I kill women. Yes, but at no point of time, at any point of time, I have never regretted, not even once, I have regretted my friend. Not even once, I have regretted. Yes, I have always wanted to kill people. I've always wanted to bury them alive. But I have once always wanted to regret, but I don't want to. I don't want to do it. Actually, I will not apologize also. I have never apologized. I shall also not apologize. Why should I apologize? Why should I? This is my life. This is my job to clean the England. Yes. But my life is not full of happiness. It's not full of rainbows as people may think. My life also has the toughest part. Cleaning the house every day has become a lot of stressful job for me after a while. I always love my job. I am the one who always had the coolest job in the entire world. Yes. But no one ever had got it. But running away from the cops frequently and also washing my hands and body with blood after a while became very, very boring. I have to find new ways, new different ways, new interesting ways to kill people. And that is when I came up with a plan of the double kill. British policemen huh, are not smart enough as you, officer, who is now fast approaching to kill me. They are not smart enough as you. I have written a hell lot of letters, hundreds of letters, letters, which also said about the double kill 
which I take now. The stubble kill is a different one from all the other kills I've taken. Yes, I just lit the throat with just one cut. Just one cut. And when I was about to rip the lady with my, with my knife, people came running towards me. I rushed to stab her abdomen, but people are coming fast. So I had no other option to leave the body and then fled away. But the second kill, the second kill, I had a hell lot of time. I had a hell lot of time. I just cut her throat twice this time. I had enough time, enough time to plunge my knife into her abdomen. And I carefully cut it down and ripped it across. I also, I also did a different thing. I removed a left kidney. Yes, I removed it. But I also wanted to write a letter to the police officer now. I used the blood from the women's body. I wrote a letter to all the police officers there. The Jews are not the ones to be always bothered when they are not being recognized. Yes, you have to consider the Jews. I just wrote in the letter. I also cut that lady's ears and I wanted to attach with the letter. But again, someone was running towards me. I have to leave the ear just beside the dead body. And run away. The double kill was a huge success. The happiness and pleasure which I got today was priceless. My innovation in killing has given me a new, new kind of feeling. I started feeling like I am a god. The fact is truth. I am a god. It just occurred to me, it will always be. Every night, when I vanish, when I disappear into the fog, people will remember me. Yes, they will remember me. I'm here, I'm there, I'm then, I'm now, I'm everywhere. I will always be everywhere. Yes. Today, you have found my dungeon officer, you have found my hideout. Huh. But people always think I kill only women. No, that's not right. <laughs> that's not right, officer. I'm all waiting. To put this knife through your heart. Yes. But do not leave any evidence. Yes. I have never left any evidence while killing officer. Huh. Tomorrow, your family members would see your name in the missing columns of the daily newspapers. But, <laughs> actually, your name should be there in the obituary column of the newspaper. I'm waiting, officer. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting. I could hear footsteps. Farewell for you, officer. Farewell for you. The last mile which you're going to see now. Yes, the last mile which you will see before you close your eyes forever will be mine. Yes. Farewell for you, officer. You are dead. <laughs>